Hello and welcome to the 2017 African Regional Conference in Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. I'm joined this morning by Leonida Mutuku, who is the Chief Executive and Founder of Intellipro. Welcome to the View From series. Thank you. Now, Leonida, you are an advocate for the use of big data by emerging economies to really progress their economic growth. Why is this so important? So, uh, if you look at African economies, the largest thing that is plaguing us is market inefficiencies. And that's because we do not know where to target interventions at the right time or predict you know, how the situation will look like a few years from now. So the use of big data is very um, useful in ensuring that we are able to identify the gaps that exist um, in our markets by analyzing the you know, historical trends that exist and then being able to start predicting um, what gaps exist, what opportunities exist to innovate and plug you know, the gaps as needed. Um, secondly, uh, when you look at Africa, a lot of the population is marginalized because there's no information that's being used about them to, to make decisions on their behalf. So being able to, to use big data to understand these marginalized groups is, is very important. So investing in big data is just as important as investing in more traditional sort of infrastructure and so on. Exactly. And, and as you know, big data is now called the, the new oil and it's because it's as rich as uh, of our resources oil is. So it's definitely important to have the right structures in place to, to start understanding um, our own needs better. Great. And what can sort of markets in Africa do to really uh, increase and, and augment their capabilities in terms of big data? What steps can they take? Uh, first and foremost is just looking internally. I think a lot of our companies definitely and governments collect a lot of information about their customers, about their processes, about their people. Um, so being able to first be, uh, be aware of this resource that you have internally is the first step. Um, in, of course, adopting big data, but secondly, it's uh, finding the right collaborations and the right talent to actually uh, work with these institutions to, to analyze this data better. So when we start looking at um, the skills gap that exists, especially people who are able to use big data, of course, it's not just a problem in Africa, it's a problem around the world. So we also need to start looking at how do we create um, the right education um, systems or education courses that can develop this new kind of talent to, to work on big data. Finally, um, supporting local infrastructure, especially cloud solutions. Um, a lot of what is provided is from the West when you think of Amazon Web Services. But when we start looking at local solution, cloud solution providers, I think that is also something work that will help um, improve, of course, digitization and, analyse, and analysis of big data. Okay, there's a lot of work to do there on the road ahead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I want to ask you also, uh, Leonida, so you uh, founded Intellipro uh, in Nairobi, um, and you're very much part of Nairobi's sort of fintech ecosystem. Um, give us a sense of, of how that ecosystem has developed in recent years and where Nairobi is today in terms of its fintech hub status. Mm -hmm. I think Nairobi's fintech uh, hub status really uh, was brought about, or rather came to prominence because of uh, the perversive use of M-Pesa in the country. Mm -hmm. But um, if we look beyond just M-Pesa, we've seen a lot of developments, especially in payments, um, mobile payments, payments, uh, digital payments. We also um, look at uh, the use of um, financial technologies to, to improve core banking systems. So here we're looking at you know, traditional banking solutions such as credit facilities and loans. We started seeing um, a lot of companies coming up to provide alternative uh, lending solutions. And finally, um, definitely looking at wealth management and investments. Um, FinTech is able to really improve how people invest their own money so we're looking now at how um, mobile bonds buying so you can you, you can buy a bond a government bond from your phone can also invest in the stock exchange from your phone so these these are definitely um great improvements in how um i mean these products have always existed but are now being driven by technology okay fantastic well i look forward to seeing your panel uh, tomorrow morning and thank you so much for joining us today thank you so much thank you yeah.